Hello and a very warm welcome to Sora Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on civil engineering. In case of any query, you can contact us on this number. We are also available online. So for any kind of information, you can check in our website, which is www.sorosirclasses.com. Let us first read the question which we are about to solve in this particular tutorial. The question reads as, so the top width and the depth of flow in a triangular channel were measured as this and this respectively. The measured velocity on the center line at the water surface is this and this. Below the surface is this and this and this respectively. Using two point method of velocity measurement, the discharge in the channel is, we need to comment on the discharge in the channel using the two point method of velocity measurement. So let us insert a page and let us move on to the solution. So let us see what else is given to us. Given top width T is equal to 4 meters. Depth of flow. Say I am denoting it by Y is equal to 1 meter. Now V point to Y O is equal to 0.6 meter per second. V 0.8 Y O is equal to 0.4 meter per second. And V 0.5 Y O is equal to 0.7 meter per second. All these things are provided to us or I have derived this from the question. Okay. Now we need to comment on discharge. Usual notation used for discharge is Q. So there's a question mark. Now average velocity V is nothing but V point to Y O plus V point eight Y naught. Okay, and this by 2. So let us substitute the value. It is 0.6 plus 0.4 by 2. It will come as 0.5 meter per second. So this we have got average velocity. Now we will calculate the area of flow. Because for calculating discharge, we require both area of flow as well as average velocity, isn't it? So area of flow, I am denoting it by A, is half into T Y. Since triangular channel, okay. Now this is equal to half into 4 into 1. So this is 2 meter per second meter square therefore discharge where q is equal to area flow into average velocity will be 2 into 0.5 will be 1 meter cube per second so the discharge in the channel is 1 meter cube per second so this will be the answer so I hope this short tutorial on civil engineering where we have discussed a concept related to fluid mechanism and hydraulic machine was helpful. If our videos are at all helpful to you guys then please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, share our videos and thank you so much for watching.